everyone's head over heels crazy about Sports World. They really push the boat out. There's even more for Thursday nights on Central. Sports World. Britain has reacted cautiously to Iran's offer to refuel the hijacked Kuwaiti airliner to avert any disaster. The plane is spending a second night on the tarmac at Mashhad in Iran, where the hijackers have told the airport tower that time is running out. Earlier, Mrs. Thatcher backed Kuwait's refusal to do a deal with the hijackers. She said, we do not give in to blackmail because it only leads to further tragedies. Up to 80 passengers, including 12 Britons, are still aboard the jumbo jet. The 24 women passengers, including 10 Britons, who were released earlier, are understood to still be in a hotel in Mashhad. But in London, the news of the refueling of the plane has been received warily by the Foreign Office. Well, I sincerely hope that they will consider the history of previous hijackings. Previous hijackings that have passed from one airport to another have not benefited in any sense, either the country that let the plane go, nor the people upon the plane. It is the 80-odd people on the plane, particularly the Britons on the plane, that I am most concerned with. Hundreds of Israeli troops have sealed off a West Bank village as they search for the killers of the first Israeli civilian to be killed in the current wave of Palestinian unrest. The civilian, a 15-year-old girl, was stoned and beaten to death by Palestinians at the village of Beta. The Israelis say the Palestinians attacked the bus in which the girl was travelling, but Palestinians say Jewish settlers had fired at them from the bus. Two Arab youths were shot dead in the clash. The government says inflation in 1987 was its lowest for 20 years. Prices rose by 3.3% compared with 3.9% in 1986. Some prices fell last year. Coffee, for example, was down 8%, but motor insurance rose 22%. Two grandparents were among the five killed in a crash near Newmarket in Suffolk. Sid and Dorothy Francis had taken their grandchildren on an outing when their minibus broke down at the side of the A1303 road and was hit by a 38-ton lorry, almost tearing it apart. Both the children and four other people were injured. And that's it for now. More news later. Many couples have not consummated their marriage. Find out why with Phil Donahue. Sorry, I'm late, Ben. Traffic bad? No. Actually, I've been sorting myself out of pension. Pension? I find all that so confusing. Just talk to my man from the Prudential. Yeah. He's good, is he? Well, he's going to arrange it so that I can retire in 20 years. What? At 55? Yes. I want to retire while I'm still fit. All right. Now then, let's see how fit you are. <laughs> Prudential sought out more personal pensions than any other company. When it comes to your pension, be prudent. See Prudential. A banana doesn't have artificial colouring. Nor does an rival real. Real yogurt, real fruit, real taste. Hi, Gina. Take a look. Exciting and different. Stylish and affordable. Take a look. A new Hygiena kitchen collection. Picture yourself in any one of them. Take a look. Irresistibly priced at MFI. Shall I put the coffee on? Wear what you like, but make me a lovely cup of Nescafe. So, what's your impression of that? Mmm, there's only one Nescafe, specially blended and perfectly roasted for that richer, smoother taste. Now, that's something no one can imitate. Nescafe. Coffee at its best. Nescafe always gets top marks. He's no ordinary Joe, you can tell. Even at the fair, things have got a gel. <laughs> a right's got to put his nerves at stake. Break, break, break. What a train's got to be is... 
shake, shake, shake. But give him any kind of crisp. He won't make a racket. Just as long as it says. Oh, Walker's on the packet. Mmm, that just cooked taste. You all right, fellas? Don't you insist on Walker's crisp? <laughs> It's not easy being a dolphin. Big box office hits are on Central in the Movie America season. Films that will make you laugh, cry, shout and scream. Films starring legendary household names. See the best in Hollywood. Movie America. Fridays at half past midnight on Central. Lee Marvin stars as an underworld enforcer sent to bring the Kansas City gang into line. The gang leader, played by Gene Hackman, has other ideas, and with a name like Mary Ann, he'd better be tough. Prime Cut is after the news headlines, and here's our late, late night lineup later on. Trell Plus, a new antiperspirant with plant extracts, works in harmony with your body. Dry, effective, Natrel Plus, long-lasting Natrel Protection. What is it about Pizza Hut that's so hard to resist? Is it our wonderful pan pizza with its freshly made base? Or is it the warm, friendly atmosphere that somehow draws you in? Or choosing your favorite combinations from all our tempting toppings? Well, whatever it is, it takes a bit of beating. A Pizza Hut pan pizza. At Pizza Hut, you've got it made. If you can keep your head when all around are losing theirs, you're probably relaxing over a slow-baked McVitie's Digestive. Because McVitie's bake their biscuits slower for a fresh-from-the-oven taste. McVitie's Digestives. You can't rush a slow-baked biscuit. Montego 1.6L. It's capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 more than two seconds faster than the Ford Sierra 1.6L, usually. It also has a slide and tilt sunroof, electronic stereo radio cassette, and a five-speed gearbox, all as standard. More than you can say for the Cavalier 1.6L.
Montego 1.6L. Doesn't hang about. Isn't it funny how preparing the smallest room for decoration can suddenly become a huge nightmare? Don't worry, help is at hand. Our heat gun's strong but sensitive. Our high-performance sander's tougher than the nastiest plaster work, but its speed control gives you a gentler touch. One thing's certain, you can cut decorating down to size with Black & Decker. Tough tools for tough jobs. This is the key to a family villa in Spain. It's the TV Times prize of the year. Collect keys from the next three issues and you could win this £50,000 dream home on the sun-drenched Costa Blanca. Our cover story tells how actress Jane Seymour's uncanny likeness to the Duchess of Windsor is starkly revealed in The Woman He Loved. Read how she discovered that the real Wallace Simpson was not the adventurous that many believed. Get the week's programs on ITV and Channel 4 and your first key to a dream in this week's TV Times. Saturday at 5 to 11. Meet a bunch of crazy cops on Central. Hi. And if you can't beat them, join them. It's a bet. What are you in for? Show you. Police Academy. God damn it, show me! Britain has reacted cautiously to Iran's offer to refuel the hijacked Kuwaiti airliner to avert any disaster. The plane is spending a second night on the tarmac at Mashhad in Iran, where the hijackers have told the airport tower that time is running out. Earlier, Mrs. Thatcher backed Kuwait's refusal to do a deal with the hijackers. She said, we do not give in to blackmail because it only leads to further tragedies. Up to 80 passengers, including 12 Britons, are still aboard the jumbo jet. The 24 women passengers, including 10 Britons, who were released earlier, are understood to still be in a hotel in Mashhad. But in London, the news of the refuelling of the plane has been received warily by the Foreign Office. Well, I sincerely hope that they will consider the history of previous hijackings. Previous hijackings that have passed from one airport to another have not benefited in any sense, either the country that let the plane go, nor the people upon the plane. It is the 80-odd people on the plane, particularly the Britons on the plane, that I am most concerned with. TV presenter Russell Harty is in hospital believed to be suffering from hepatitis. He was admitted on Tuesday to a private ward at a Yorkshire hospital, where staff are under orders not to release any information on his condition. It's not known whether Mr. Harty is suffering from hepatitis A or B. It's now known that two grandparents were among five killed in a crash on the A1304 road near Newmarket. They were retired jockey Sid Francis and his wife Dorothy. They'd taken their grandchildren on an outing, but their minibus broke down at the side of the road and was hit by a 38-ton lorry, almost tearing it apart. Both the children and four other people were injured. A barrister at the King's Cross Inquiry has accused the management of London Underground of caring more about economies than public safety. Mr Roger Henderson says unless there are big changes in management attitudes, there'd be another disaster. Mr Henderson says there's a clear lack of training for staff to deal with emergencies and that savings on maintenance had undoubtedly led to fires on wooden escalators becoming more frequent. That's it for now. More news later. Now, Lee Marvin and Gene Hackman carve out their prime cut.